Hey, what's up, Renegades? Hey, so today I'm going to be the Sick Boy. This is a request, and I was told that this would be the best one to do following up on uh, Ren's. Hi, Ren! Uh, so, with that being said, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and here we go. Oh, dang. For seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect. Oh, okay. So this is this is actually pretty <laughs> pretty fast, and um, I like it so far. I um I like what doing here. He's he's kind of building up. From like a musical standpoint, he's building this up. This part right here, he's building this up, and I, I like, I like the fact that he's he's going outside of the box, outside of traditional instruments. And I know, like, like with an Iran at the very beginning, he was doing the the um what what I thought was opera. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. Um, but let's get back. Okay, so I, is this a therapist? Is this um I see cups of coffee, I see prescriptions. Um it's a it's kind of like a it's a blank room. Um I'm I'm thinking that this might be like a therapist or a doctor of some sort that's talking to, to him. Interplay with your emotional state and physical body, so that, that makes me think that it might be uh, a therapist. Ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is made from music. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So that that would be a therapist. Your mind is making you sick because of this negative feedback loop. Dang. And I know a lot of you guys talking to me about, or not talking to me, but commenting about some of the things that, that Ren has went through in his life, like, um, you know, getting Lyme disease and um, some of the psychosis that came along with it, as well as um, just the being sick in general, it, it, it can really take a toll on your mental health. So, dang. So he's he's scratching his arms, and that's that's something that is typically done when when someone's kind of in their insanity. So I mean, I, I'm not saying he's insane. Don't get me wrong. I I think it's bigger than that. I think it's I think that's part of that psychosis of of being of being unwell. Um, and you know, I've known I've known people who go into psychosis. They don't remember what they do. And, you know, it's, oh, man. Oh, this is really well done. So, bitten by a tick boy. So he, this is the Lyme disease that that you guys are talking about. That's how he got it. Okay. The boy pass out. White noise, quick fix, snake oil. I'm about to break, boy. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another oh, pill. Here, take a couple more. Let. Oh. Ah. Okay, so, uh, man, I can, um, uh, okay, I may not be able to relate to the Lyme disease, but, you know, when she's pushing the, the bottle over, I mean, this is what, this is what Western medicine does. Western medicine says, hey, you're unwell, here, have a pill, have a pill, a pill's gonna make you all better, but all, like, oh my gosh, 
So, I mean, I remember being in and out of hospitals as a teenager, and all they kept doing was shoving pills down my throat. And at one point, I was taking 80 pills a day, five times a day, and I felt nothing. I felt nothing. And then I I remember a therapist, had, um, or not therapist, psychiatrist, had taken everything away, and it was like, it, it turned my world upside down. And medications are powerful, and, ah, uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, there was a, a therapist that I had had, and, and I, you know, I'm a human being. I think that going to therapy is fine. You know, there's a lot of things that, that happen in our lives that sometimes we just need to talk about. And I had one therapist down in, um, uh, before I moved up to where I live now, and he saw me for a year. And one of the things he told me was, you don't need medication. Awesome. Awesome. He told me that nine months into seeing me. He saw me every week. You don't need medication. You just need someone to talk to. That was refreshing. That was refreshing to hear that it that I didn't need what Western medicine says that we need. Just shove a pill down their throat. They'll be fine. So, man, Ren, I, oh, I remember this. I remember this all too well. It may not have been Lyme disease, but... That is a very, very, very common thing that Western medicine likes to do. Have another pill. You'll take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling yep. worse when the side effects will show. Yeah. Realization, medical patient, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medication, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your... You know what's interesting is the little pig. Um, that was in the first video and then is in this video. Um, she turned into that pig. So I'm, I'm, the pig originally had blood all over its apron. So that make, that's making me think like, like there's a double meaning here. Like, um, you know, this person is trying to shove pills down Ren's throat and obviously not this person in the video. Um, but she's trying to shove pills down Ren's pills down Ren's throat and ultimately it's leading to him becoming sicker in different ways and it you know and he said he said quite a few things when he was when he was rapping and how how he just gets worse and how all these side effects and and you know it's it's not the side effects sometimes are not manageable I remember uh, this one particular medication I had taken. It was called Geodin. And um, Geodin made me shake internally. And I, I was, I could not function. Literally, I could not function. So they tried to give me something to counteract that. So instead of just changing my medication, they put me on another medication to help counter the side effects, and which led to more side effects. And then that one needed to be countered. And it was just like this never ending like trying to counter all of the side effects with more medication. It didn't make any sense to me. And then, you know, I had I was taking another one called Seroquel at a different point in time. And even though I was on a low dose, it made me sleep all the time. And then, you know, they decided to raise that dose knowing that I was sleeping all the time. And next thing you know, I'm sleeping for 24 hours at a time. And I remember I was, I was a teenager when this was happening and my mom couldn't wake me up for school. She couldn't wake me up for nothing. And so I ended up having to leave regular public high school. That was one of the reasons that I left, aside from getting bullied. Um, that was one of the reasons that I left was that I literally could not function because of all these pills. And now as an adult, I hate medication. I, I, I don't like taking it. If I don't have to take it, I don't. And like I don't even like taking Tylenol because it's just... Uh, yeah, so I, I, I get what he's saying.
I feel like it's not me, it's the world that's sick We're given everything we need and we commoditize it We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in I'm not sick, we are sick We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress We jump off the precipice I'm not sick, I'm the virus, you're the virus, hypocrite How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy Record label wow. meetings that come on the Yo, gift boy, why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is pop bro. Yeah. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on. What he's saying here is that you you know you know what society tells you you have to do to make it is to just be someone you're not, and that's so right of what it actually is. On a tie rapping with a slit fro. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. Dang, dude. Dang. You guys were on point when it comes when it came to this song. This song is intense. But I, I think that there's a certain level of the reality check. I mean, especially with Western medicine. And, you know, it's I, I've had my fair share of Western medicine. I've been told to leave insurance to get help. And, you know, it's shoving more pills down people's throats definitely ain't the way to go. Uh, this has been a really, really eye-opening video. I really am, am, like, in awe of him right now. He's he's so good at his craft, and he uses every every opportunity to be able to be artistic. So I'm, I'm super excited. So with that being said, guys, go ahead and comment down which one I should do next, and I uh, will see you on the flip side. Take care.